Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. Now, this dinosaur definitely looks like it could be one of the coolest new dinosaurs in the movie, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. But, here's your drawing. Hope you guys follow along and get to enjoy. Now, to start off with our Therizinosaurus, we're going to begin with the eye. So we're going to begin right here, and I'm just going to make a small little circle shape for the eye. Next, starting here, I'm just going to make a little curved line right around it. And then right here, I'm going to make a little line that just goes up and down above it. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go down. And then we're going to bring it down to here. Then I'm going to bring this line down. And we're going to go up and down and then up and down again. Then we're going to add a little line right here. Next we're going to add a little curved line here. And a little line is just going to kind of come around here to show a little indentation in there. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come down to here, a little wavy. Then we're going to go down, and we're going to bring it up to here. Then I'm going to make another little line right in here for a little bit of detail. Next we're going to bring this line down, and then bring it to about here. We'll add a little curved line, and then a little line that comes out and then up for the tongue. Now, starting here, I'm going to make some pointed little lines. They're just going to come down, and they're going to bring them right to about here for the neck. Now starting here, I'm going to curve this line up, and I'm going to add a few more little curves just to show some wrinkles in the neck. And then I'm going to bring this line down to about here. Starting here, I'm going to bring a line down. And then I'm going to bring this line over. Then we're going to put these long claws on here. So I'm going to draw a long line that comes down to a point and then up. Then another one that comes down and up. And then one more that comes down and then brings it up to here. We'll add another little line. And then we're going to make a line that's going to go over and then it's going to come up. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes out. And we're going to bring it out a little farther. I'm going to draw a line that comes down to a point and up. And another one that comes down to a point and up. Then I'll make one more that comes down to a point and we're going to bring it up here. And then I'm going to bring this line over and then up. Now starting here, I'm going to make some more points on here because this dinosaur has quite a bit of feathers on them. And then right here, we're going to bring a line down just a little bit. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that goes down an angle and then it's going to curve back. Then we're going to bring this line down here. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down to a point and back. We'll do another one here. And then we'll do one more right here. Next, we're going to bring this line up and then in. Bring this up a little more, and then we're going to draw a line that's just going to come right to here for the back of the leg. Now for the other leg, we'll do kind of the same thing. We'll go down and then bring it back a little bit. We'll come down at an angle. 
make a little line that's gonna come down to a point and over, and then another one right here, just so we'll only see like two toes. I'm gonna bring this up, and I'm gonna put another little hook right here for a little back claw. I'm gonna bring this up, over, and then we're gonna bring it up to here. Next, I'm gonna put a few more little kind of points on here for more feathers. Then I'm gonna bring this line down to about here, just to kind of finish off where the tail is gonna be. Now once we have this, we can come in here and just add a few different little details on here. So I'm gonna add a couple little lines kind of right here and then a few little lines right by the eye. I'm going to add a little dot right up here for the nose. And then I'm going to add a few more little lines and just kind of come across here for the neck, just show a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to make some of these quick little lines just right down here, just real small little lines, just kind of show where there's some texture with the feather. And I'll put a few more here. And then I'm going to make some kind of long zigzag lines coming down here by the leg. And we're going to bring these all the way down here towards the tail. We'll make some kind of quick little lines here. And then some little lines right here. We'll add a little curved line or two on each toe. And this will just kind of show where the claws are going to be. We're going to add just a few more kind of little broken lines around here for some detail. And then we'll add the curved lines up here on these claws. These claws are going to be really, really long. Then I always like to add a couple little extra lines on here just to show some detail. And then I'm gonna add some kind of zigzag lines on here just to show that's gonna be pretty furry, or feathery I should say, on here. And we're gonna add a few little extra lines right in here just for some detail. A few little lines by the mouth. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Theranzinosaurus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.